Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of BTD6. So let's continue with the update series for Hafkish and Improbable. Um, let's continue with the intermediate maps. Right now I'm gonna do Moon Landing on Hafkish. Now for this gameplay I will be using Obin. He's also one of the four free heroes you can get in the game just by playing. Uh, because of the fact that he works just so well in this map that has a lot of obstacles. So that's why I'm going with Obin in this case and not with Quincy. And as always, without monkey knowledge, continues and powers. So Obin's uh, main feature is the fact that he can attack through obstacles. And considering how these uh, crates are going to actually uh, become obstacles so that your towers cannot attack inside or can attack inside just for a very little part of it, uh, makes Obin one of the best heroes in this map. So uh, that's why I've chosen Obin. And now you're gonna start here by placing this that monkey closest to the top and to the right side right here in strong and you're gonna just get it 0, 0, 001. You're gonna get more range because that is gonna allow the that monkey you can see right here to attack the balloons at this once as they are rotating around the, the crater. And therefore uh, you can of course pop more more balloons. Unfortunately, as always, round four, all the blues are gonna just be too much, and you're gonna lose a ton of lives here. But that's of course expected and there's nothing you can do about that and then here uh, in the, all the next rounds until you can afford another monkey also in round five we're gonna lose some lives but that's okay at the end of round five you can place another monkey you want to place it this time up here closest to the bottom and to the right side so first closest to the to the bottom and to the right once again on strong and uh, this monkey you also want to upgrade it 001 as you get enough uh, cash so here we go we're on seven and with these two monkeys you only have spent a little bit of cash to upgrade the range but that's pretty much it you don't need to upgrade I like attack speed of the peers, even if you could, and you could uh, in that way pop more balloons. But I just recommend you to try to hold on. You're gonna end up losing some more lives, but it's not gonna be that many, and uh, and therefore you're gonna be able to really place Obin for round uh, uh, eleven. And of course, uh, Obin, by being a hero, is gonna start earning experience. Is gonna start leveling up. You're gonna then gain his level three. And the cool thing is also that Obin will be able to attack through obstacles. So Obin is going to be able to attack inside these craters a lot more than this, uh, than what these monkeys can do. So this is round 10, the very last round where you're going to hold on with these two monkeys. Actually, I think I think that uh, I also run 11. I'm gonna. I will need to do run 11. Yeah, because I just don't have enough cash yet. So I will also do run 11 with these two monkeys. But that's okay. All right, here we go. So now you sell the top that monkey. And you can see that you can place Obin. Now Obin positioning is very very important. You're gonna place him like this. So you're gonna place him so that he, th with the range, he's reaching and he's touching this um, this part of the crater right here. So see this uh, part right here, right? So the right side you wanna touch it with the range. So that's uh, that's pretty much it. You wanna set Obin also too strong. And uh, then just be careful here about the yellows because sometimes RNG, if Obin, like uh, the wolf attacks, so the basic attacks don't turn in the air as they should, sometimes you're gonna have these random yellows like being able to sneak past. So when you see some yellows, always go slow and make sure you can, you can destroy them, for example here. So if you can pop them, that's all right. The important thing is being able to destroy them very quickly. And that's unfortunately some RNG involved. Uh, all right, here we go. Nice. 
For round 15, he's gonna be level fifth. Uh, he's gonna be level three, so you can use his level three, and you wanna use it when you can see one balloon getting very close towards the exit. So around here, yeah, this wasn't the best because unfortunately he placed brumbles on the strong balloon that he was attacking and not the first one. So I risk here, but thankfully this brumbles was enough to pop also the balloons inside. But uh, yeah, you wanna try to place these brumbles so that they are placed like around here, so inside the, the crater. Uh, now ninja right here, closest to Obin and then closest to the left. So try to play a little bit with the, with the positioning. It's very important that you place this ninja as close as possible towards the left, so the ninja has can attack inside as you're gonna get more uh, range increase. All right, here we go. Now I'm gonna set Obin to first. So as I'm gonna place the ninja now, I have the ninja. Now I'm placing Obin on a first target. Always go slow with especially the um, the yellows and the pinks. So the very fast balloons, those are the ones that you wanna really be careful. And now here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Brumbles. You're very, very late. You could see that I use it at the end around 18. So that these Brumbles now are pretty much right here outside the crater. So that in the next rounds, if there are any balloons, especially in round 19 here, if there are any of these pinks that can sneak past and have my defenses, I will already have some Brumbles here ready. So, um, so yeah, that's just the reason why I waited to place Brumbles right there. All right, Ninja 100. Round 21 here goes low. You might lose some lives, but don't use Brumbles. You're gonna need Brumbles in round um, 22. So let's see here. Yeah, uh, maybe I could have upgraded the Ninja 101. So I will try to play again with the Ninja upgraded because in round 22, you really need Brumbles. So you, you have to save up Brumbles for round uh, 2022. 20, you can use Brumbles here. Or if you use Brumbles, just use it at the very end when like some balloons are almost about to sneak past, like for example now. So in this case, these Brumbles should be able to survive this round. Um, and yeah, but this, the amount of balloons that came out around 22 are a lot. So that's why uh, you need Brumbles more for this round than for round uh, 21. And yeah, you can see here how useful it was to have those Brumbles there. Very nice. And that should be the ninja now, uh, 201. All right, thankfully I can pop everything, let's see. Uh, yeah, just one red balloon, that's all right. So one life loss here. Probably if I would replay the round uh, and I would get some better RNG when we would have them or anything, I could be able to pop everything, but I'm not really looking here to show you like a perfect RNG run. I want to show you that even if you don't have perfect RNG, you can still make this strategy work. So that's the main deal. And very important here, using uh, brown balls for round 25 for the purples, because Obin cannot pop purples. So you need uh, uh, you need brown balls to pop the purples a little earlier. So yeah, just make sure to to do that. And then I'm gonna place here a wizard. Closest to Obin, closest to the left. Right here, also in first. Uh, and I'm gonna get this wizard 100. And with this, also the wizard can attack through obstacles. So I have another tower other than Obin that can attack through obstacles. So this is gonna help dramatically the, the overall uh, damage that I can do to the balloons. Then I'm gonna get this wizard now 110 and then 120. So I will get a wall of fire right away. Always go slow here. You shouldn't need brumbles, so try to save up your brumbles. But um, yeah, always be ready to use them if you see too many balloons stacking up. Especially if you see some balloons like about to sneak past Obin. That's when you, you can use Brumbles because you, you are sure that Obin is going to use Brumbles for those balloons. All right, so here I'm going to use once again Brumbles for the purples and that's Wall of Fire. 
The ninja should be able to handle all the camos in round 33. Um, and now it's just about upgrading the ninja 301 and then 302. And then for round 40, you just need the wizard uh, 320. And that's it. It's very, very easy, the strategy from now onwards, because of the fact that how much damage Wall of Fire actually does to the balloons. It's uh, just insane. And you can see that now, because of the rework on Wall of Fire, now it's gonna always uh, be dropped where uh, the balloons, the wizard is attacking. So if the wizard is attacking the balloons down here, a Wall of Fire is gonna be placed uh, on top of those balloons. If you said the wizard is attacking the balloons inside the crater, Wall of Fire is gonna be dropped right there. So it's very, very uh, but nice having this Wall of Fire that always spawns in the best spot possible. So that's the Ninja now 302. With Caltrops also, some uh, extra line of defense in case some balloons can stack up and can get through. Wizard 220. Uh, and now, round 39, what you're going to do is you're going to start the round and you're going to drop Rumbles. Now, you're going to drop Rumbles before Obin starts attacking the balloons. Because in that way, uh, the position of uh, Rumbles is going to be completely RNG. And it might happen that Rumbles is going to be dropped in a good spot. Now, the good spot that I'm meaning is a spot that is very close to Obin. And it's outside the crater. So, you're going to have Rumbles to be dropped around this area right here that's where you want to have rumbles and you can see that you have quite a large part of obin that covers this top side so just uh, try to try to play the round and to see uh your luck until you can eventually have rumbles in uh, in a nice spot so so yeah that's uh, that's just pretty much it in this case this spot is not uh, super nice but uh, it's still pretty close towards the top so i think uh, it's good enough, so I will I will keep on playing like this. The Wall of Fire Wizard also deals a ton of damage, and now that we'll get it 3 to 0, even more damage. So I shouldn't really worry here about this Rumbles getting consumed. And now from 40, you're going to just wait the mob to enter inside the crater, and then you're going to drop Rumbles. In that way, Rumbles, as you can see, is going to be always dropped inside the crater. And therefore, you can see you can do a lot of damage with both the Brumbles that you place around 39, plus the new set of Brumbles, plus, uh, of course, Wall of Fire. And that's it. Because once you can survive round 40, it becomes a lot easier. Uh, because until round 50, there are no more mobs, there are only ceramics, and the Wall of Fire Wizard can handle ceramics uh, very nicely. So I'm gonna just place first an alchemist here, close to this wizard. All right, right here, he's strong. And then I will start building a village. Here, uh, you can use also brumbles for the camos. Actually, you need to use brumbles because otherwise the ninja, you can see, can pop almost all the balloons, but some balloons can sneak past. So uh, yeah, I forgot. To, to use Brambles there a little earlier. Because Obin doesn't have camo detention, it's completely RNG, the position of Brambles, so you're gonna drop it before the camos or as the camos are coming out. And that should be that should be enough. Yeah. So Alchemist, as I said before. Uh, I'm gonna drop it a little bit closer towards the top. And then Village. So this village should, should have all the towers already in range. Nice. So let's get here discount as always. So that the next upgrades I will get uh, will be discounted and I will be saving up some cash. Again here rumbles for the camo purples. And also I'm gonna drop another wizard right here, closes, close also to the alchemist, all right? 
and uh, also like closer as much as possible towards the, the left so closest to the top and the left in this case I will get uh, this wizard like also three three zero zero first and then I will get it just three zero one and then three zero two so in that way uh, now have the ninja and a wizard with camera detection so of course that should be enough all right so we'll get now attack speed with the village Also, we'll start getting this alchemist upgraded, giving the brew to. You should be giving the brew to the wizard you have placed afterwards because, like, you have placed it touching the alchemist, and therefore the alchemist prioritizes it. As you can see, I didn't even use brambles for that mob, and uh, it was still enough. Four zero zero alchemist. Oh, oops! I forgot to get uh, jungle drums. My bad. So you're gonna really increase the the attack speed of all your towers. All right, here we go. Um, and now the next key round to survive is of course round 683, uh, the ceramic rushes. And there is a very uh, cheeky and uh, easy way to deal with the ceramics when uh, the balloons are going to be all very close to one another and when you can't actually uh, like damage them because there is uh, an obstacle. That is with the motor. This map has been almost built for motors and therefore you can very very easily drop a mortar and by setting it to attack the center of the crater most of the attacks are gonna be uh, are gonna be falling inside the crater and are gonna be damaging all the balloons inside and therefore by then getting the mortar 3 to 0 so getting the shell shock effect you can actually stun balloons when they are hit in the center of the explosion but because all the balloons are going to be very close to one another, you can almost stun all of them. And that gives you a huge advantage. Um, so here... Actually, yeah, I forgot about Camelots. I should have placed uh, the World of Trees a little earlier. Or actually, what I'm going to do now that I place this motor, I can actually sell this village and I can just get uh, Camo Detention. So yeah, I'm going to do that. So now Obin has camo detention, the World of Fire Wizard has camo detention, like everyone has camo detention. And therefore, um, yeah, that should solve the problem with camo lads. And also in this way, the mortar is going to have camo detention also from 78. If you want, you can try here around like 61 when Obin is not attacking anyone. So like at the very, very beginning. To drop the wall of trees if you're lucky you're gonna have wall of trees like around here that you could be using as another line of the fence if you're unlucky as i as i was it's gonna be towards the front and this wall of trees is gonna be exploding very very quickly uh but yeah it's just uh it's just chance so here we go and you're gonna see around 63 how easy it becomes because of the mortar because of the fact that the mortar can actually just keep on stunning and damaging all the ceramics inside and uh, and yeah that just makes this round very easy of course there is wall of fire damage uh, and of course all the wizard damage but uh, yeah that's just it and I'm gonna use here again wall of fire and actually wall of trees and I'm gonna actually use it at the very end so that 
I, I know that it's gonna be dropped in a good spot. All right, and from now on, after round 63, you can start going a lot faster. For the, for the next rounds, the only thing you wanna do is just upgrade this mortar uh, four to zero, and that's, uh, that's it. You don't need to upgrade these wizards like uh, four to zero or like four zero two, because of the fact that uh, the the main star is going to be the mortar. The fact that you can damage all those balloons when they're going to be close to one another. And so that's what uh, that's the tower that you're going to really focus on your resources, and especially it's going to be super important like for round seventy six and round seventy eight. Almost there, and uh, here we go. The big one, and therefore now you can actually move the mortar a little bit closer towards the right side because of the fact that the explosion radius now it's much larger. So you can exploit the bigger radius by moving the mortar slightly closer towards the right side, and still uh, have uh, all the damage, especially the stun on the ceramics being applied. Then next, probably I'm gonna like sell the, the monkey and the ninja uh, later on when I can sell them to get the one of the two wizards uh, four to four zero two. I think I'm gonna get this one because it has the extra uh, pierce, and it's gonna be just like for around seventy nine, for around eighty. So you're gonna just need it for the very very uh, last uh, last rounds just to do enough damage, especially to BFPs because the mortar is great for ceramics, but it's not so great against like mob class balloons. So that's why um, you wanna, you're gonna have something else to do more damage to mob class balloons, like a uh, arcane spike wizard. You can see here around 76, super, super easy. See here if I need to use another wall of trees. Nope. All right, cool. Also, around 78, the first and the second summer crash are going to be super easy because of the fact that the mortar has combo detection, so no OB nobilities needed. So the wizard here is 11.7 um, cash. So I could be selling right now. Yeah, the ninja, and I can get the crane spike wizard. All right here we go, and that should do a lot more damage to my plasmas, of course. And then for round 80, just to finish it off, I can just get here uh, like a 030 bomb just to do a little bit more damage to especially the ZOMG. Uh, and yeah, that should be it. So I'm gonna also use your Brumbles, why not, from Obin to do a little bit more damage, but uh, that should be enough for this uh, ZOMG. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and see ya, bye bye.